So as we discussed in our PowerPoint slide, we can take the table tool from the annotation panel. We can simply click here table and we can take the tool. Or if we do not find in the toolbar, we can type the shortcut EV, enter. And this is how we can open. Or if you don't remember the shortcut as well, you can type the name of command T A V L E enter. Now after entering to the command, so we got the two methods for creating a table. We can see here insertion behavior. So we having first method is called specify insertion point method and second is specify window method. We'll see one by one. First method we'll see in this method, first we'll define the number of column required and the data row required. So if we know what the size of column width we required, we'll enter the value here. And if we know what the height of row required, we'll put it here. So I'm taking the default values and now come to the next option is called set cell styles. So we'll define how we required this format actually. So here you can define the first row by default software will give us title and second row it will give you header and third row it will give you the data. If you need the same you can simply click OK and click. So this is how the format will be created. But if you want to make a difference you can take the tool again table and we can just make some changes here. Like I don't want to take a title in my first column. I want to take my heading only, the header part, and another I'll only keep a data. So this is also I can keep it with data. Or I can take only if I want to feed the data only. So we can keep a data everywhere as well. So all that form format will be having a data available in the table cell. You can do okay. Now you will find that all table cell will be only data cell will be available. Now next method will take care specify window method. In specify window method we can do two things. One either we can define what number of row and column we require or we can take like uh, column width or number of rows or we can take like uh, column width or row height. So one thing we can choose it at a time. So if you need a column and rows you can choose this one or alternately you can arrange like I required a uh, row and row height and this I want to keep in auto mode. So that's user choice how you want to create your table. So I'm keeping here like uh, that height and width will be in auto mode. So if you know, don't know the length and width that you want to take it, you can keep it in auto mode. If you know how many uh, width and height you required, you can specify the values. If I know the what number of row and column required, I'll give the values here. I said I record 8 rows and 4 columns. I click here and now I can create it on the screen. So like this we can make a table by using both methods. Now let's see how we can make a simple block material by giving a data values. Again we'll go to the table method. Now you can choose any method. So we have seen how we can make a simple table by using both methods. So first here I'll keep in my first title, second header and the datas. So how many row and column you required we can define. So I required four columns and I required six rows and do OK. So like this we have placed it. Now if you want to write something you can write in this simply by double clicking. You can type like I want to write here material list. Next I want to write here item name. Next I want to write description.
Next, I want to write quantity. Next, I want to write unit cost. So like this, we can fill the details. Now, I'll give my item names. Like I have my first item will be bool. Description, I'm defining like it will be Anten size quantity 5 unit cost 50. Now uh, we can also add the cost symbol as well. So that will see how we can add any symbols by, when we use a table cell. Next, I said I want to give value not, and that will be also same size m10 and quantity I require 8 and will define that unit cost will be 55 next I say I require a washes washer size you can define like it should be as it uh, 10 mm size I require Quantity I required 15, cost will be 40. So, like this, we can fill the data. Now, one thing is to notice here when we writing a text, it will be automatically centered, but when we writing a numbers, it will be moved to side. So, for that, things we have to do little arrangements while writing it. So, what I can do for this solution, we can select this all and we can arrange from the top. Table cell, I said that should be middle center. So this is how you have to select them and you can manage it middle center. Same with this also you can manage it because this is not exactly at middle center, it is top center. So we can use middle center. Same way, I want to use it for this. So this is how I created a small bill of material.